Whoa, part three. Where is the thing? You're already too late. We're already in high YouTube. Buy YouTube happy. We're in high YouTube again. Okay, we got Rage Ironhead. Isn't the shop up here? No, I'm stupid. All right, we gotta find a save point. Where is the town with the bottle rockets? Oh, they're right here. Oh, everything I need, it's right here. Poncho. Um. Okay. Trash bag shawl. Give you the dainty shawl. What happened? Didn't they say I had... Did I lose Terry? I thought I lost Terry. Can I get more joy? Oh, I also want to see what this guy has. <laughs> Wood wristbands. Pea shooter. Yeah, let me give Nern a gun. <laughs> Now I can sell you the revolver. Cool. Get out of my face! Thank you. Ha ha, pea shooter. <laughs> Door won't budge. Okay, nope. We're gonna go fight that monster. 
Do we fight the monster now? Let's fight the monster now. Fuck. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Hello, old chum! Want to invest in my wonderful product? It's really worth your time. Sure. Wonderful! You got the trust for suckers manual. You're an idiot. The end. Wrong way. Right? I don't remember how to get back. I'm trying to remember how to get back to where I need to go. Find your way back! I hate that song. Might be dumb. Just throwing that out there. For the love of God, how do I get back to the fucking area? <laughs> Help. Help me now. I want to just sprint. Can I fly? I want to fly. Oh, okay. Okay, now we go through Snake Land.
Cool. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, that guy's on drugs too? <laughs> oh no. Throw him away. Never use him again. Okay, well... Pie you the way you are. I should have never used that shit. Brad, Brad, wake up, wake up, Brad. Brad, it's important. Something I remembered about Olaith. Something about our past. There you are. Now that I'm awake, I must remind you. It's mighty rude to fall asleep in the middle of a conversation, Brad. Next time, just tell me if you're tired. I'd surely understand. I'm not one for wasting people's time. <laughs> More importantly, I was getting to the point of everything discussing earlier tonight. I have a theory, Brad. Based on all my research, and based on the facts that we know, at least one female still exists. Or should I say, is alive. For now, I suppose. Based on all of this, I believe. That women. And by the way, before you pass any judgment, I have to add that I've done a ton of research. I don't. I don't like it when somebody prefaces that. <laughs> Life after the flash has been totally surreal. Honestly, none of this makes any sense. He's gonna say something stupid. Yeah. And the more I hang around you, Brad, the worse it gets. I'm really starting to wonder if you've taken so many of those drugs that you're starting to become a drug yourself. I've started to see and feel very weird things around you. you. We've been together for literally 17 seconds, bro. Scary, but hard to resist, I must say. In fact, I'm starting to notice that the light reflects off of your shiny head in the same way it reflects off of a joy pill. Could this be a connection? Or is it just how light reflects off of perfectly round surfaces? Hmm. Do you want a crappy pixel art coin image for the pointy points? Oh, maybe. I'm sorry, Brad. Oh. I don't like the crappy part. I'm going to go make one. Nice. Well, I appreciate that. 
Okay, so you're just saying crappy because it's something you're making and you're critical on your creativity skills. Got it. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with the actual outcome of the, the, the quality. Got it. Understand. Welcome to everything I've ever created ever. Dry, plain, direct information. That's where you're all about. <laughs> Not if I make one first. Hey. I knew I pinned you right as my history buff, my boy. <laughs> and history waits for no one. Go, you both, you both go make one. I'm sure I'll use them for something. I really appreciate that. That's really cool. <laughs> Recording history, learning from history, building whole societies off of tales of facts. Sometimes fiction. That's why it's more important than ever to discuss the record, to, to discuss and record these wild times. If only the wasteland had some kind of magazine of information. Oh, wow. I just had a serious mind blast. Do you remember newspapers, Brad? I do. I never read them, but I did always keep them. In fact, I collected them. Do you know why? Do you know why, Brad? You'll never guess, but I'll give you a chance. Coupons, Brad! I loved coupons! I mean, heck, it's why I married my trout-sucking wife in the first place, God rest her soul. She loved coupons as almost as much as me. I had stacks and stacks of newspapers all full of coupons. Each newspaper had anywhere from one to five coupons in each issue, and newspapers came one time a week. On a good month, you could net 25 to 200 coupons a month if you factored in my private hoard. I tell you what, bratty boy, if I could have just one thing from Before the Flash, just one thing, it would be newspapers. I'd love to wake up at a campfire with a tightly wad little newspaper all rolled up just waiting for me. Squeezed together by a bouncy rubber band that's just barely too tight. Can you guess the obvious joke I'm about to make? Is it weed or is it penises? Page ready to burst out, coupons begging to be drenched in my penny pinching gaze. Okay, it's gonna be the penis one. <laughs> Golly, I trade my filthiest of mags for one last newspaper. I'm gonna put PP on the front of the pointy point. Can you make me one that doesn't have that? <laughs> You're uninitiated. Make me both. If you want nope, okay, fine. <laughs> Use the CCC, the coupon collecting community. We called newspapers dailies for short. Newsies, papers, newspaps, the rag, the weeklies. It's called a pointy point. I have to put PP on it. Okay. Hmm. The news. And for coupons, we would call that the clips. Clippies, clippings, discount documents, thrift tickets, bargain bills, a legal license to loot. Oh, those folks taught me a lot about couponing. I'm embarrassed to admit, but did you know... When I would go to the supermarket, I would bring all my newspapers from home. I'd fill a whole cart with just newspapers full of coupons every time I went. <laughs> One day, a woman came up to me while I was shopping and handed me a pair of scissors and said, You should buy these scissors. In my head, I said, You mind your own business. But in the moment, I ended up saying, Shut the fuck up, you scissor-peddling hag! Can't you see I'm busy having a bad day? She ignored that and took the time to explain to me that I could clip the coupons and leave the worthless new papers behind. Wow, what a woman. I ended up marrying her. <laughs> Turns out you can be rude to whoever you want and still find love. You just need to keep being mean until you find that special someone. Patient enough to tolerate it. What I'm saying is, well, Um, hey, sorry, Brad. It's just my eyes haven't adjusted to the dark and now and well, not to be rude, but you have a lot of blood in your beard, on your clothes. You smell like blood. It's just it. It reminds me of a childhood friend. Rodney Donkhausen. Red Rod, we called him. Or was it Rad Rod? 
That's right, Rad Rod, because his red hair was so radical. Ho <laughs> ho! I had so many great stories about that goof. But those will have to wait for another time. Nah, do it the same direction so it's legible. All this back and forth has got me tuckered out. I should get some rest. <laughs> good night. Um, good thinking, Brad. Getting some winks in, too. Yo, so, my mom, there, my mom used to do, like, extreme couponing and stuff. So, there was this one time around Thanksgiving at a shopping, uh, like a, like a, like a grocery store by us. Uh, it was like you spent a certain amount of money and you got a free turkey, right? Around Thanksgiving. Um, so we did that and we got the free turkey. And then when you got the free turkey, it printed out a receipt. And at the bottom of the receipt, there was a coupon for a free turkey so then my mom went the next day got a free turkey they had to give her a receipt and at the bottom there was a coupon for a free turkey my mother then proceeded over the week the, the, like over a week before thanksgiving to get seven turkeys for free <laughs> Until they fixed the system. <laughs> we had, we gave people turkeys. We had turkey, we had turkey for like two months. And we gave like, we gave like three people turkeys. It was insane. <laughs> Sleep is important. Why? In the four times, I'd rest 13, 17 hours a day. Oh. Of course, that was back when. Mahogany. What was I just talking about? Oh, yeah. Rad Rod. Rude and red he was. Oh. Just like mine. Slop sipping. Coupon clipping. By Fork Knight's heavy bosom, what is that? Ah, oh, sorry, Brad, I swear. I just felt a spider crawling on my face. Hang on, there's a red line. Is that there? Am I smoking meth? No, there's a red line. Fixed it. Must have been Twitch of the old mustache whiskers. You know, I'm surprised you're still awake, Brad. Well, since you're having trouble turning in anyway. I suppose you wouldn't mind hearing just a bit more about old Roddy, would you? I remember like it was 40-something years ago. And it was! <laughs> Rod shook me awake, big mane of red hair, whipping to and fro. Oh boy, he shouted, shaking like a leaf blower. I found it! How the world got so arsed up! He was too close to my face, mind. And th the way he's talking is annoying to me. Kinda erratic. And what kind of person says arsed in the heat of the moment? Arsed? See? It feels so weird for me to say it even now. Plus, I can feel his spittle on my smooth chin. I should have had- I shouldn't have shaved that day. Not that I could ever grow much of a beard. Anyway, obviously this got me intrigued. 
his hair being so long. I mean, how did he do it? I'll admit I've always been jealous of a good mop. Sturdy follicles escape me. And that rascally rod knew it. That wasn't the first time he'd shove those thick strands in my face like that. Uh, now, when was that first time? Must have been 20 or 50 years ago. You DM'd me? Okay. I'd appreciate it if you respected my time a bit more going forward. Holy fucking shit. You don't feel very well rested. Oh, thank you for that. That's really cool. Thanks so much for that, Sam. I appreciate that. It's really cool. I got to, um... Oh! Okay, we all got actually rested, though. That's good. I got to update some stuff on there, so I'll, I'll probably change that over. Because I, I don't have an icon for it, right? No, I don't. Okay. If you don't save, you'll have to listen to that every single time you refight this boss. Well, too late. Can I be, like, cleansed or something?
said we had to refight the boss? Who said? Not me. Huh, poor thing. Okay, let's go save. Oh, let's just go get the bike. The bike's right here. We found a child's bike. Congratulations, you got bike. Don't get me. The game crashed again. edition, huh? Uh, yeah, we're gonna cut the spot here. <laughs>